It's a frightening sight, fire raging out of control. And the cold reality is it can happen to any of us. Tragically, a victim was found. Every year, fire kills about 5,000 Americans. This is bad, this is bad, real bad. But what if someday somebody could figure out how to build houses and apartments and office buildings with materials that just won't burn? What if fires like this didn't have to happen? Now, I never can get this thing to work. Whoa, hang on there. Well, someday, maybe here. Watch out, here she comes. Now, if this were a, a regular wall mm -hmm. in a regular house, <laughs> well, what would happen about this? This would be on fire in about two seconds. Patricia Billings, a 72-year-old grandmother who lives in Kansas City, may have hit the jackpot. And you wound up making not only this, but possibly a fortune. Possibly. Yes. She's invented a building material she calls Geobond. It's being used on houses now under construction near Dallas. What do you do in the lab? I'm doing all the research for the product. This is it. This is it. World headquarters. <laughs> and she came this up with so this Geobond practically yeah, by accident. Right. So yes. this is what you use for your sculptures. Right. Before Pat Billings yes. became an inventor, she was a sculptor uh -huh. no. who had studied a little still chemistry right. in junior college about so 50 years ago. I mean, this all began with a, a swan? Yes, I broke a swan. You broke a swan. And it made me mad. I just mix it up with my hands. I make sure I get it all out of the bottom. In fact, she was so mad, she set out to find a stronger substance to work with. Just like a clay. After years of experimentation with cement and plaster, unexpectedly, she stumbled upon her secret ingredient. Would you care to share with us what this... Uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even have to ask the question, do I? No. <laughs> Whatever it is, when you mix it all together, you get something that not only won't easily break, it won't burn. Now, I want to bring you up here and show you what happens to the insulation that's in your house right now. This is the kind of stuff that's in houses today? That's today. If this stuff is what it appears to be, mm -hmm. this would literally revolutionize the construction industry. That's what they tell me. OK, lighting the geobond structure first. If you're still wondering, does this stuff really work? Take a look at the demonstration Patricia Billing showed us. Two shacks side by side, one made out of geobond, the other standard materials. Information only, burn exercise is underway at this time. With the Kansas City Fire Department standing by, both buildings were doused with fuel and set on fire. Within minutes, the shack made out of regular materials is on fire. The geobond house, not only is it not burning, you can actually put your hand on it. Be careful, Barn. Oh, it is it, right over here. Right uh -huh. over here. It's unbearably hot. Uh -huh. And this. This is perfectly cool. Geobond may just be an idea whose time has come. Unlike conventional building materials, it won't burn. Unlike asbestos, it won't cause cancer. And if Geobond does catch fire, commercially speaking, if it doesn't all go up in smoke, then Patricia Billings, the 72-year-old grandmother, will become rich. How rich? How hot is hot? You may be a very, very wealthy woman not too far down the road. Might. How do you feel about that? Well, it'll be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> At my age, I don't know how much money you can spend. <laughs> Pat Billing says two bigger companies have offered her $20 million for her fledgling little company. Turned them down. You didn't think the $20 million was enough? No, I don't. $30 million be enough? No. $40? I think you're going to have to. $50 million. No, probably not. I think what we will do $60 is. $60 million. I, I think we will have probably. $70 million? In another year, we will probably sell out for 80? 80 to $100 million. <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> it is. I mean, it's amazing. That's fantastic. Dad 5 in area north is in a red condition. 10, 9. And it's not eight, just firefighters seven, who find it amazing six, and fantastic. Three, two, one. Rocket scientists at Edwards Air Force Base in California are impressed too. 
They're running tests on Geobot. They think it could be used on aircraft carrier decks, or on the space shuttle launch pad, or any place where fire control is critical, like the insulation used in commercial airplanes. Are you a millionaire uh, yet? From this, yes. A small millionaire. As I'm a small millionaire. <laughs> Hoping to become... <laughs> a large millionaire. <laughs> How do you want to be remembered? Well, I want to be remembered by the person who made a safe home for everybody. At my age, that's more important than money. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe.